Hey there and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about halting deadlifts, what they are, how you perform them, and why you might want to do them. The halting deadlift is an assistance lift for the deadlift. It is a partial range of motion and it is the counterpoint, the counterpart to the rack pull. So this is the other half. A rack pull typically starts below the knee and then finishes out at the top of the regular of the lockout position of a deadlift. The halting deadlift on the other hand starts on the floor and goes up to usually just above the knee. So there's some overlap between the halting deadlift which is going to finish a little bit above the knee and the rack pull which is going to start just a little bit below the knee. So there's a couple inches of overlap there. So the two lifts work very well together. How to perform a halting deadlift. Set up the exact same way as your regular deadlift. So the five step setup. Stance, grip, shins, chest, and pull. When you pull, you're gonna pull the bar until the bar passes the top of your patella. So once it gets just a little bit past the top of your knees, you're gonna stop there and you're gonna set it back down very quickly. A couple things to think about when you're doing the halting deadlift. Number one, you're gonna think about pushing the floor away. Number two, you're gonna think about keeping your shoulders in front of the bar. In a halting deadlift, you're gonna to attempt to maintain as constant of a back angle as possible. It's not actually going to be constant, but you're gonna to endeavor to keep it as constant as possible. It's gonna start changing off the floor right away. But again, endeavor to keep the back angle as constant as possible. And then number three, use your lats to keep it close. The lats get a lot of work in a properly performed halting deadlift, performing the job of keeping the bar close to you. Why might you use the halting deadlift? There are a couple technical considerations for which you might use the halting deadlift. One of which is working on back extension as you break the bar off the floor, as you smoothly squeeze the bar off the floor, working on keeping that back nice and tight and flat and rigid, not allowing it to flex at all. So it provides excellent exposure to working on back extension as you're breaking the bar off the floor. Speaking of extension, another reason to work on it is knee extension, working on pushing the floor away, starting the movement by getting knee extension and not raising the chest right away. Again, it's a deadlift, so there will be a back angle change right away, but you're focusing on it should be dominated by knee extension off the floor. A third technical consideration, and that is keeping the bar close as you break the bar off the floor. Remember, you're not finishing this lift, so you get to devote, you get to devote a, excuse me, you're not finishing a deadlift, you're just doing a partial range of motion deadlift. So you get to devote a lot of attention to just the first half, maybe first three-fifths, two-thirds, something like that of the movement. So you can spare some, some mental bandwidth thinking about just keeping it close, using your lats to keep it close. For programming considerations, the halting deadlift is going to be used with intermediate and advanced trainees, and it's going to be used with its counterpart, the rack pull. So one week you're going to rack pull, the next week you're going to perform halting deadlifts. We hope this was useful, and if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time, and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.